Done. <laughs> okay, there we go. Can I speed run this? Yeah, I got the one guy. Got it. Go camo. Oh my god, that pre-fire for the log shot. Let's go. Got gold with it. <laughs> There's a guy going for the flank. Woo! Ah, oh, the quad is ruined. Come. Diamond, let's go. That's how we get diamond, boys, with that failed freaking quad. Hey, what's up guys? It's me, Bushka Vive here. You guys saw in basically like the mini montage to start off this video. I have diamond ARs. Everybody knows this. I made a special video unlocking it with the KN57. But like I said in that video, I was going to make a dedicated video just to show you guys how to get diamond ARs easily in Black Ops 4. How to get them sooner, how to get them faster, and in a very simple process. So I made my five best class setups that really led me to getting diamond ARs. These are specifically designed for the headshots. So for the ICRs, it's honestly actually the best class up to use in Black Ops 4, in my opinion. If you guys are still rocking the ICR, you need both grips and quick draws are all you need. For all these guns, they have a reticle on it just for the purpose of making headshots way easier. And if you guys did not know, you can actually personalize the red dot color. For the ICR, I just use reflex, grip one and grip two and quick draw and then just aim for the head. Headshots are very easy in Black Ops 4. I'm not going to lie. I can get at least six a game without even trying. And if I am trying... It's like 10. It's honestly one of the easiest Black Ops games to get headshots in, in my opinion. But all you gotta do is aim for the head and you'll be bound to get it. Plus you get a headshot multiplier, which helps your time to kill. A uh, majority of these classes, I've been using stem shot a lot more and tactical mask because tactical mask got buffed. And stem shot is just, it really saves you in situations when there's multiple people. Since SMGs got buffed, they're, now they're competing. If you're gonna spread out with the SMG, and you stem shot yourself and hit fire with the ICR, you'll be okay. For the ramp part, it's just, this is just a damage machine. Usually I rock grip on this gun, but you don't even need grip anymore. And just rock both high cows. It really makes this gun a beast and a reflex. Aim for the head, you'll be okay. Forgot a perk here, but it's lightweight. Same situation, stem shot, tactical mass, lightweight, dead silence. The KN57, this is the class setup I use to get the headshots. I would rock rapid fire on the KN57, but after watching a video, Turns out it doesn't really affect your time to kill. You just got to hit your shots. Plus the buffed. This gun can compete. It's almost like the Maddox. You get up close and personal and you will win gunfights. If you go to medium, the long range, you you have a very high chance of losing that gunfight. The Maddox, the, the baby. I just use the ELO on this gun because the recoil they added to it doesn't really affect this gun. Plus, it's, it's, just, it's a very accurate AR. All you need is quick draw one and two, in my opinion, and uh, fast mags. I don't really rock stock. I don't treat this AR like a assault rifle. I treat it like a SMG. I get up close and personal. This gun's just a slapper. Aim for the head. This gun sadly does not have any high cow, but it's still effective and a really easy gun to get gold. Next, we got the Vapor. Just use both stocks and make sure you're actually way better. And high cow. Even though they nerfed high cow, it's still beneficial as it makes your time to kill slightly easier plus you're aiming for headshots anyway so might as well take advantage of it and those are my five best classes to get headshots okay guys and when it comes to long shots aim for maps like seaside arsenal and any map that has a sniper perch and a long range of sight that'll make your life easier 
For long shots, I honestly recommend going to hardcore. The only gun I really got done in core with long shots is just ICR. It's just really accurate and dominant. However, for the Rampart, KN57, Maddox, and Vapor, I went the hardcore. Since, uh, basically, it's a pain to get long shots with these weapons as it's just long shots are not really made all that for this because the accuracy was not as on point like the ICR. But when you go to hardcore, it's just a one to two shot kill from that range. And when you get all the long shots done, you'll get the roller rink. For the Mother of Pearl, just use this gun with no attachments. And my class loadup for it is honestly this one. This is for every single AR. I just use this basic loadup and setup. You guys, I know Team Link is actually really useful for the Fog of War. It gives you a circle. Because no matter what, if an enemy enters that, even with the Wearing Ghost, they're marked on the map. It's pretty dumb, but it's how it is. But this gives you a better mini UAV in a sense. Now, 50 kills with an optic and five attachments. For the ICR, I use this one. I don't have the other slot, but it would be FMJ. Now for the Rampart, if you have a dual zoom optic, just use that one. It makes your life easier because if you are going for kills and you haven't got your long shots done, just use it. It will make your life easier. You can try. But like I said, go to hardcore for the long shots. But with this one, I will use both high cows, fast max, FMJ, and then grip. Now for the KN57, you guys saw in my video, I just use whatever attachments. But in all honesty, I would just use the ELO. Hybrid, Rapid, Quick Draw, Grip, and Stock. There's no dual zoom, so this one's just go for kills, go to Hardcore. Now for the Vapor, I just use Reflex. There's no dual zoom for this weapon, but both Stock 1 and 2, Rapid Fire, High Cal, and then use Fast Mags. For the Maddox, just use the ELO, Quick Draw 1 and 2, Fast Mag 1 and 2, and then just use Stock. And then after that, you guys should be okay, because you'll unlock Purple Hex and Mother of Pearl. And during the process of getting both of those done, you will get the Penthouse eventually. It's just double kills. Just push into the spawn and set yourself up for a perfect double kill. You see one person, follow them for a little bit until they find an, like a teammate. Then it's open fire. Then people might say Spectrum's a little tricky. But honestly, Bloodthirsties are not really that tough if you play it smart. All you have to do is just kill someone and run. Or if you really want to be the toxic player get work take over a room and just stay alive or what i usually do i just look for an enemy i just target one enemy and follow the route and if he keeps taking the same route i'll just keep killing him off the route and just stay there until he comes back and he just feeds you easy bloodthirsties because there are some people who just take one route and stick with it on the map just find that one enemy and you'll be fine or you can lobby search for a bunch of low levels to take advantage of it but those are my tips for Bloodthirsties, and that is how I got Diamond Assault Rifles so easily in Black Ops 4. Of course, these class setups can be to your own personal preference. I'm just giving you guys a base, just an idea of what to use. But honestly, you guys can use whatever you want. But for the headshots, if your gun has high cal, take advantage of it. Aim for the head. Headshots are quite easy. And then for the challenges, just go to hardcore for the long shots, then go back to core for all the other challenges, in my opinion. Unless you are a hardcore player, then hey, easy life to you. But other than that, I hope you guys did enjoy today's video. Drop a like, subscribe if you're new. Let's aim for 10 likes on today's video. Comment down below which assault rifle is your favorite on Black Ops 4. And lastly, for all those who are still here, if you guys are wondering when I'm going to stream again, I'll probably be streaming as soon as this school quarter is over. Just two weeks of lectures and then one final day. So I'll be streaming nonstop when it comes to winter. But until then, I'm just staying focused with schooling. And I'm grinding Black Ops 4 on the side. Other than that, I hope you guys enjoyed. I'll catch you guys in the next one. Yeah. Hey. Ultra, ultra. How do we get so rare? Ultra, ultra.